start the show, y'all. Facebook it. hell right what here, y'all. <laughs> and what are y'all doing? Come on, baby. Hey. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, baby. How are you? I'm fine. Hey. You look so beautiful. Thank you. I'm trying to suck my stomach in. <laughs> I ain't got on my, my spanks tonight. Down to a minimum, nigga, whisper. Unless you fucking with the shot. I went to see Prince, and I had a, uh, I had a little bit of, uh, I would say, a little gay moment, <laughs> an out of body gay moment for myself. Uh, Prince came out there and wowed me. Seriously, y'all like think I'm bullshit, and. Uh, And I was sitting down, me and my wife were just chilling. And I heard that, and Prince just, he hovered up. He up. He had all white on. He had a white blouse on. With some white leggings. You know how leggings make motherfucking girls look? That's how they make Prince look tough. He had some white furry boots on. They lit up when he walked. And, and he was mesmerizing me, and my wife kept saying, What the fuck is you looking at Prince so hard? <laughs> Don't hate on my man. This is the Prince. And you know, Prince, you know how Prince is, you know? You think? Oh, thank you. I live in that guy. I was like, I was all excited. We don't get up, Prince! <laughs> and when he starts singing, I ain't know I really like Prince, he starts singing Purple Rain. You know, he's like, <laughs> got his little guitar. Prince came out and he like, he did that sound and everything. I never made it cause you give me problems, problems, problems. And I stood up, shit. I never let it cost you any time. And I did my arm like this. I don't know. Some of this I'm like, type of love. My arm kept going out. I don't know what the fuck you Oh. <laughs> Prince is had to win. And it's like the lights just went down on me and Prince. I was like, fuck it, I'm about to sing with this nigga, what's that? I was like, a purple rain, purple rain. My arms start getting gay and gay. Purple rain, purple rain. And that blouse was looking good, nigga. So, so after the show, this is a true story, after the show, Went to the VIP section in the back. And the drummer came up to me and he was like, hey Red, hey, how you doing, man? You funny as shit, man. You wanna meet Prince? <laughs> I was like, the Prince? He's like, yeah, the Prince. I was like, yeah, yeah. The reason why I'm acting like this, because I had, I'm a star, but I, I don't really meet stars well. Cause I'm still in the hood in my mind. I'm like, okay. I found this shit out when I went to Miami. Dwayne Wade brought me down there, and you know I have been practicing for a whole month how to meet Dwayne Wade in the world. I was in that bitch like, what's up, Wade? What the fuck is up? I get that ring of what, my nigga? Good? But dunk on these niggas tonight. But when he came in the room, my body didn't react to what I had been practicing. My arm went out. <laughs> had to grab my shirt, nigga. And he was walking toward me, and he, was, he finally got to me. He's like, what's up, Red Grant? And I was saying, hey, Dwayne. So I didn't know how I was gonna meet Prince, man. So Prince finally came 
came in the room, it was like he was put the, it was like he was hovering, <laughs> floating on feathers. <laughs> the blouse was blousey. The leggings was leggy. And the boots was definitely glistening. And lighting up. I was staring. In my head, I was This was all in my head, nigga. He was coming toward me, I was like, I had a little tear coming out. We had a uh, DVD out for American Hustle. You see her in the movie, Borat. You also will see her this fall in another movie with Mr. Adam Sandler, and she is one of the funniest females in the country. My friend, and one of the realest people in the world, Give it up for my man, my girl, Luke Let's go, my man, I said, what's up, nephew? He, I said, 
said, okay, there's my bag and stuff. He said, oh, I, I wanted to just let you know that there's no elevator in here. I'm like, oh, okay, that's all right. Which one? The first one? Somebody said, no, the eighth one. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? By the time I got up to that motherfucker, I was agoraphobic. I didn't mean, know scared to come back out the goddamn house. I'm never going to make it back up. I'm not coming down until I'm going to the airport. Fuck this bullshit. He said, I made you a key for any time you're in town, you can come back. I'm like, bitch, I'm not coming back. <laughs> coming back to this shit, I'm a spoiled ass motherfucking Hollywood, LA motherfucker. That's it. <laughs> it took, I was out of breath when I came up these bitches right there. <laughs> anyway, I'm having a cocktail. I hope there's some people enjoying me. First, about drinking in public. Okay, first of all, men are so easily excitable. Any little thing that set a motherfucking man off. If you wear a big bra, a little bit of that bra strap and peeking out, that motherfucker gonna fantasize all goddamn night long. Or if you're wearing that big bra, you know that good. If you bend over and you got on a black outfit and you got Orange underwear on. That motherfucker gonna freak out all the motherfucking night. The men are easily excitable. So what I'm gonna let you know is that you have to watch yourself in the club and know that there's rules and regulations to drinking out of public because you might be minding your own business, just getting drunk with your homegirls at the bar. And unbeknownst to you, you done made everything hard in the club. <laughs> Looking for your motherfucking strong when you drop that. <laughs> you be talking to your girl and you be like, you know what that motherfucking stage now? Can't with and you gotta know what you can and cannot do. Can't move it. Now, I've been drinking a long time. I used to be an alcoholic. <laughs> and now I'm what you call a social recreational drink. <laughs> now, you gotta know what you can and cannot do. Some things don't agree with you. Okay? And the thing that does not agree with me. Gin. Oh no. You don't want me to drink no goddamn gin. <laughs> you don't want me to Gin will make you sick. Gin will make you want to fight your best friend. I guess you spend a bottle of gin. You know, I remember the day that I quit drinking gin. It has an effect on me. Jim makes me either want to fight or cry or both. But this particular day, I was sitting with my bitches at the bar. Fucked up! I had my glass on.